M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my gadget channel. Today we're looking at the KVE60 antenna analyzer and the KVE520 model. One is a HF analyzer, 0.5 to 60 megahertz, and the other one is a VHF UHF analyzer. And the prices vary, and it will remind you of the MFJ model which is about 400 pound, I think. So yeah, of course, this is a Chinese clone and MFJ always make top quality products. So we know what we're gonna get with MFJ. Now with with the, the budget sort of ones that we're seeing here, we need to uh, look at the reviews for that. So let's just scroll down the, the listing here on AliExpress. Around 170 pound, this one. So you can see the size is, it, the shape and size is very similar to the Yesu FT5D, I would say. Scrolling down. And there's, that looks like a, almost like a spectrum type display. Looking at the, you know, the front panel, it says SWR return present span scan. So there's a learning curve to any of these devices. You basically plug your antenna into it after you've calibrated it uh, and then it will tell you what your if your antenna what your antenna's up to and you can find if you've got some bad shorts or you know the length of your antenna uh, quite a long write up on that section yeah i don't really understand what the, what they're saying there but anyway so that's that's that one and that if you look at the top there 0 0.5 to 60 on the right hand side we've got this uh, quite nice drawing of the device and uh, let's just read some of the items it says RF connector BNC rotary encoder encoder switch battery level indicator five startup time customized ID display malfunctional key prompt column multifunctional key power button color colorful screen buzzer reset hold battery cover and they're all numbered so it does have a battery 14 is a hand strap hole, charging indicator and charging micro USB. So it's micro USB. And then just a, a few more photographs there. I mean, it's definitely a, the, exactly the kind of jagged, uh, sorry, gadget that I like to tinker with. This is the, the 520 model. So VHF, UHF. I just found another listing here with more information and more photographs as well, I think they're quite good. I ignore the sort of price side of this. So it's a bit of a learning thing myself. But you can see there are some nice photographs. I mean, MFJ have done a really good job of the one they've done. And if someone said to me, which one do you recommend? Of course, I'll say MFJ. I know that the company is, has just got problems at the moment, but hopefully someone's gonna come along and buy that company, hopefully. So I think it's a nice looking device. This listing has got some specifications shown here. The one in the middle you're seeing is the MFJ one. And it's hard to tell the difference. Uh, but of course, you know, we don't know what components are being used. We don't know the quality. But that's why we have to rely on reviews. Um, so KV520A, this is the VHF UHF. There's no point in me reading all that, but here's some basic specifications. Okay, measuring frequency, it says 133 to 177, 195, 280, 395, 520. So that's perfect for doing our sort of VHF, UHF work. It says output power. So does that mean it's, it's one of those ones that sends out? I'm not really sure what that means. Mm, I'm not gonna guess. Scanning steps. Um, power management, vector, impedance, antenna analyzer. You get five connectors with it by the looks of it. Not sure if you'll get that with the, you know, with the other one, but it says you do. Look at that one, it's even got a small circuit board on it. What's that all about? So on AliExpress, these are about 170 delivered. Seems okay to me if you do a lot of antenna work. Uh, let's have a quick look, see if we can find a review. Yeah, so I'm quite pleased with the review. We're on eham.net. You're always going to find some reviews that are poor, but generally they are good reviews. 
it's half the price. You can choose the VHF, UHF model, you can choose the HF model. Unfortunately, they don't do it all in one, which of course everyone would like, but that's just not, it's not feasible at this price. The device has actually been out for about seven years. Okay, uh, so I'll put the link in of the reviews and uh, there is an eBay link there. I'll put in an Amazon link and uh, I like using antenna analyzers. You could go for the MFJ one, you know, if you want to really make sure it's high quality. Uh, I'd like to know from someone what's the what's the story with MFJ. Now there's going to be, I'm sure there'll be, if it's got a micro USB connection, I'm sure there's going to be software for this. So thanks for watching. The link's in the description. Catch you soon. And if I find the software, of course, I will uh, make a video testing and showing how to use this device. Bye for now, 7.3.